viewers good afternoon how has your day been i hope you're having a fruitful week just as i'm having mine this week has been a little bit fruitful and i hope it will be more fruitful today is a wednesday the 17th day of july year 2024 yes it's a wednesday uh, two days ago monday i shared a video where i told you that you cannot go broke you can never go broke with snake farming when i you know i decided to say to tag that video that way to encourage us and to let us know that uh, you can actually make some some you know passive income you know and of course some very good income from snake farming it depend on your marketability it depend on your uh, sphere of influence it depend on the contact the network that you have okay uh, I'm not one of those uh, motivational speakers that tells you that uh, every week you can be making 30 million, 1, 1 million from snares. I won't say that. And of course, you can make it because it depends on your, uh, you know, sphere of influence. It depends on the people you know. It depends on your marketability. Okay. Uh, I told us uh, on Monday how I sold a snail, uh, a pack of snail worth 40,000. And then I told us of the snail water, you know. But today I have another for jumbo snails. Can you see jumbo snail once again? This goes for forty thousand for twenty pieces. It means each of these is two thousand naira. Can you see how big it is? This is super jumbo, and it is thoroughly cleaned, ready to cook. I'm not zooming the video. You can see this is the natural size of this snail that you are seeing. This these are not zoomed picture for you to see, and these snails are from me. Okay, these snails these are snails of over two years. Okay, these are snails of over two years from me. Okay, can you see that? I'm just picking them randomly for you to see. Okay. And don't forget the fact that some weeks ago, about two weeks ago, I shared a video of how I sold snails worth about 500,000, 400, 200, you know, like that. I shared it. And then uh, uh, just two days ago, I shared a video also where I saw the snail, process snail of twenty of 40,000. Here again is one of 40,000. And here I have medium size. You can see medium size of 20,000. So this snail I'm holding is 1,000 era. Okay, this snail is 1,000 era. So this is snail of 1,000 times 20 pieces that was ordered so this is 20 while this is 40 so here now today again on the 17th of july i'm making cool 60,000. and don't forget the fact that i have a ready buyer for the snail water so by and large i'm making about three or four thousand from that one again okay see all you need is to create that brand for yourself see this snail that you are seeing while my staff have already cleaned it, I do the last check, which I call quality assurance. If anything goes wrong with this nail, I'm taking full responsibility. Because uh, I've already you know, fat checked this nail. I've checked for death. I've checked for all those little, little uh, shell. So you can eat this nail while you close your eyes. You don't have to be searching. Could there be sand? Could there be little shell? No. With this nail, just close your eyes, enjoy it, you know, just prepare it, either peppered or fried. Meanwhile, the reason why I'm actually making this video, you know, was um, due to, or is due to um, a call that I got while this snail was being processed. I got a call from one of my followers on YouTube, you know. In fact, he, he just joined or he just uh, subscribed to my channel, uh, according to him. And then he said he has been watching my video, 
he commended my simplicity and the honesty that I've displayed thus far on this channel and then um, he was encouraged so he you know out of his uh, joy or curiosity he he pleaded that I should you know switch the phone to video so that I can see what he has done you know uh, you know at his backyard you know uh, just little snare that he has and uh, which I oblige him you know I I watch his uh, trench though very small but I was happy I was encouraged uh, I saw him he has more of uh, AF that's a Chatina Fulika and then of course he, he has you know uh, but then I was just you know encouraged by his passion and then he even showed me some certain things behind his you know uh, at his backyard there and I was encouraged I saw you know one cage of poultry you know for just a cage I saw some uh, you know, plastic of tomato I saw yam in the sack you know I was encouraged I was encouraged you know I was so encouraged so while I now showed him, you know, I told him that whole, oh, now that you called, okay, let me show you what my staff was doing too, that we were just processing some snares, you know, just to encourage him. And what interests me more was uh, the point he now made that I should please make a video of this um, snail, you know, this very snail, that I should make a video and can it send to him that he has some brothers, some friends, you know, in diaspora abroad, that he has told them that uh, he just started snail farming, and then they encouraged him to go into it massively. They told him, invest more into it, make sure you have plenty of snails, then you'll be sending to us, we'll be selling there, you know, uh, abroad. So he now told me that I should please make a video and kindly send to him. And then he said, okay, uh, he doesn't have to wait till his own snail begin to you know uh, you know reproduce or big enough or plenty enough that while they are sending money to him he can be partnering with me you know that i'll be making the snails for him you know we'll be sending them abroad but of course they will feel that the snail you know was coming from his own farm the only thing is that he will make his own brand uh, which i can of course help him to do or he can get to any very good printer to make his own brand for him so while we were producing it will be his own sticker that will be there so the point I'm raising here now is the word partnership 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 there are many ways you can make money from snail farming in fact should I shock you you don't have to own a snail farm before you start making money you know though you can call it middlemen you can call it a, 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 a what do you call this thing now? Racketing or whatever. You see, you only knowledge, knowledge liberates. It, nothing stops you from knowing so much about snails or telling people you, you sell snails and then you meet with a trusted snail farmer that you know, you keep, you keep getting snails from them. Uh, and you keep selling while you are building your own, while your own is growing. And of course, I won't advise you to go to market to buy snails, especially those ones that you are sending abroad. You know, Oyibo people, um, they are, you know, everything there is so computerized, automated that if you go there with snails that has chemical toxin, all your investment will just be trash in a trickle of an eye. How do I mean? You know, most of those snails you see in the market were being hunted by snail farmer. I mean, snail hunter. Snail hunter. And then, as a hunter, when they go to the bush, they make sure they do everything possible to make sure they come back with snails, which will push them to use all manner of devices and then, you know, chemicals. Let me just come out straight. There are some chemicals. When you pour those chemicals somewhere, no matter the distance of the snails to that portion, it will attract those snails. And when those snails eat such uh, food 
or such a feed that has been chemicalized, definitely they will get dehydrated and they will all die. And something that kills an animal, you should know that you definitely kill human being. Just that we have a larger intestine, it will take a longer time for poison. But then, death is death. Someone that died yesterday, someone that died today, someone that will die the next 10 years, death is death. And that's one thing that kills us more in Africa. You know, we die gradually. We die gradually. Dust, uh, carbon monoxide, we eat anyhow, you know. God will help us. So my people, the point, I'm, and of course, don't cost me. I'm not saying every snake in the market are chemicalized. No, don't cost, I'm not saying that. But how we do identify those that have been chemicalized if you are not trained to identify them? You just get to a market or roadside, you see snails, you buy, you go home, you prepare. You know, there are ways to identify. You have to be trained to identify those snails that, you know, that were captured or hunted with chemicals. There's a way to, to identify them. And for you to know, you have to be trained. It's not what I can, you have to be trained. You have to be skilled. So, my brother, I won't mention your name. I want to thank you because um, you are the reason why I'm making this video to encourage others uh, that even though you've not started your snail farm, you can partner with a trusted snail farmer. You can partner with a trusted snail farmer. Those that will not run away with your money, those that will not sell bad snails to you that will run you into debt. Okay? You can partner with them, make some little, little income while you are building yours. And before you know it, you start yours, yours is growing. Of course, you've already built a brand, you've already built a market. So don't wait until when you start yours before you build that market. You can control that traffic now, in advance. Okay? And, and of course, if you are having the mindset of, you know, exporting your snares, I always advise you to go organic. Go organic. Don't use chemical or uh, growth boosting hormone or whatsoever on your snares if you are, have the mindset of sending your snares abroad. Okay, so that you don't run yourself into loss. And of course, you know, so that even the person you are sending to will not be jailed. Because by the time they find out that people are eating a certain snail from a certain person and people are having a problem health-wise or death, then later, you know, it can be traced to that person. And before you know it, you have killed that market. So I'm encouraging us, let's go into partnership. Some of us don't have the fund, but you have the time. Some of us have the time, but you don't have the fund. Why not locate each other and partner? And some of us have the phone, you have the contact, you have the connection, you have people that you can talk to that will assess me, assess me. Why not contact us at November's Farms or Shubari Motopai's Nest? Or any other person that you trust, any other farm that you trust. Snail is a huge market. Just that we don't know it yet. I keep saying it is the first in the hierarchy of meat. Ask any doctor. That's why snakes tend to be very expensive because it's a very good meat. It's very expensive. It is scarce. So the skies are limits. If many of us can come into this, uh, you know, this field, this sector, this space. The market is there for us, just that we have to locate it. I, I, I don't tell people that okay, I'm happy to sell. <coughs> Excuse me, please. I don't tell people as much as I, I sell snails regularly, I will not tell you that I'm happy to sell. Because I have to sell mine before I can help you to sell yours. So you have to identify your market. You have to explore your market. And of course, if my own market is... Um, you know, exhausted, or probably I'm not ready to sell, it's, you know, my snails. Of course, I can help you to sell. But don't bank your sales or your marketing on me. I don't do that. I don't do that to cajole people. I don't do that to, to entice you to come and patronize me. I don't do that. 
I do my thing professionally with honesty and fear of God. And I'll tell you the truth, nothing but the truth. That's what I stand for, and that's the niche that has been working for me. I've not deceived you to buy from me. I've not deceived you by you no know, spoiling market for others, but I will always say the truth so that then you can choose. Okay, so from the stable of November's farms and Shoba Mudukwe's Ness, we are thanking you for your patronage and your trust that you keep having in us. We thank you for the encouragement because you are the one encouraging us here to do more and not to relent. In fact, if not for this, my brother, I wouldn't have made this video. Let me shock you. I sell snails. Three days cannot pass me by without me selling snails. Though. Three days cannot pass by without me selling snails. But how many videos will I be making on sales, 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 sales? I don't want to bore you on that. That's why I don't make video often on processed snails. But I sell processed snails regularly. You know, in the previous video, the last video that I, you know, that I, you know, that I shot, I told us that you know uh, you can never grow broke with snail farming. I said forty forty thousand is a small money. It's a small money, yes. But if you keep having that, probably every two two days, in a month, calculate it. And if you can have larger market, you are having probably hundred thousand every two two days, or twenty twenty thousand, or even thirty thousand every two 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 days. You know what it is. I will not tell you that uh, with snail farming you can make uh, 10 million in a month. I won't say that. I won't. Go and ask many people that do say that to you on YouTube or on the internet. Go and you know. You go and verify them. How many of them are really making those sales that they claim they are having? Go and check them. Go and run a fat check on them. Background check. Look out for their name. Look out for their YouTube uh, channel or maybe a, a facebook or you know try to identify them and see if truly they are making such money Ali, you see from their lifestyle sometimes they just use all those things to cajole you they tell you uh, in one year you can make 20 million from snares when you don't have a market yet ah I me mean, i don't know but meanwhile, you can make it truly if you have the market. I've told us there are several ways to make money from snails. You are selling the snail meat. You are, you know, selling feed. You are training people on feed. You are training people on snails. My brother, consultation is there. You can make money from snails. From sale of snails, snail farming. There are lots of ways to make money from it. There are lots and lots of ways to make money. I've just did it. This, this video is talking about partnership now. You, when you partner with big brand, and of course you can go about looking for the market, go to restaurants, go and meet some VIP that you know, go and meet some friends that you know, you know, people that have influenced them, I mean so snake farming when you don't even have any. And when they want pictures, when they want video, come to people like us. No, an established snail farmer, go to them, contact them, get video, get picture from them. And when they want to buy, you buy from a trusted person that will not run away with your money. Because somebody like me, I won't send you snails until you send money first. I get my payment for before I send you my snails. So I don't know if others too do that. But meanwhile, you don't do that to someone you don't trust that can run away with your money. It's not good enough. Okay? So when you do that, you are making those money in trickles, little by little. A little drop of water makes a mighty ocean, as they say. So I'm encouraging us, as much that lies within you, try as much as possible to go into backyard farming. I just wish I should mention that man's name, but I won't. And I'm sure he will watch this video, unless if he makes a comment by himself that, yes, it's me. If not, I won't mention his name, but I was encouraged by by what I saw. The tomato, the pepper. In fact, he planted onions at his backyard. There in Lagos. Lagos, Lagos for that matter. Lagos. Not bush, not village. You that live in Lagos, you keep saying Lagos is a metropolitan uh, city. There's no space. But you have a compound. <laughs> My people. <laughs> 
farming is ready now, especially backyard farming. Grow what you can eat. Grow what you can eat. Let do away with most of these debt that we see in the market. Let's go organic. Grow at least you cannot grow 100% of what you eat, but grow some certain percentage so that you know that okay, what I'm eating was produced by me, you know, very hygienic, very healthy. And you know, it is organic, natural, no chemical. So I'm wishing you all the best. Uh, probably I will do uh, a series maybe on, by weekend. Uh, either Friday or Saturday, I have a topic that I really want to share. Maybe you should just look out for that. By Saturday or Friday, I'll be speaking on something that will interest you. And of course, on snake farming. So I'm wishing us all the best. Let's uh, together try as much as possible to eradicate hunger. You know, in this land called Nigeria. Let's try as much as possible to eradicate hunger. Okay, let's eradicate poverty too because by the time you make sales, you are making money, yes, you won't go poor. So I want to thank you. Please share this video, like it, um, comment, and then uh, subscribe to my channel so that when I, whenever I drop new video, you can always be alerted. Yes, then tell others about my channel about the truth that we speak here tell others let others to benefit from this thank you very much i remember shubayo modupe johnson popularly known as shubayo modupe snares and of course some people call me igmi which means snares that's now my nickname it's not even my nickname anymore i wish i can formalize that and legalize it to be my personal name now snare igmi because uh, if I it it interests me when I hear people call me Igmi, I smile, and the name has come to stay. So whenever you see me, you can always call me Igmi too, which means snarl. Thank you very much. I will still show you uh, the this the end product of this name when it is packaged. Okay, let me not thank you yet. So this video continues. I will show you when this uh, snail will be packaged. And you see the end product, the package snares. For now, uh, thank you and keep watching. So I'm done with the packaging now. Because as you can see, can you see the dates? This is November's farms. Can you see our phone number? Do you see the YouTube address or YouTube channel name? Shobai Mulukwe Snares. That's our email. Look at it. This nail of 20,000. And do you know one beautiful thing about us? Look at the Jara, the addition. I haven't thoroughly cleaned this nail. I still added some alum. Can you see the alum? So it's an added advantage. So you are sure that when you get snail from us, processed nail, fresh one, we will still give you alum should in case you still want to clean further and just as all, i always say there's no need for you to clean our snail anymore because it is thoroughly clean and then the quality assurance is always done by me can you see it it is packed so here's one of forty thousand. can you see it Packed. and then you can see the alum too I added some alum the alum will be kept if uh, probably you buy buying snail fresh one life snail then you can always still use this alum that's why we always create that um, added value to our clients when you get fresh snails because we know that sometimes getting alum might be difficult might be scarce so in case you are getting um live snail from us or anywhere else you know uh, you can always rely on the alum that has been sent to you by us so from november's 
farms and Shuba Murupa listeners, uh, we really want to thank you uh, for your support, for your encouragement, for the questions that you guys always ask me. You know, I only because those questions always put me on my toes. You know, it uh, make me to research the more because I can't afford to fail you. So, and I can't tell you what I don't know. I will never do that. I always tell you what I know. So, I always encourage us, Bakia farming is the deal, is, it, is a big deal. It's the deal now. You know, it's been said that informal sector actually is the engine room of Nigerian economy. So, it is in snail farming. Those little, little hutches that you see go a long way to boost this sector than those bigger snares i mean bigger farm the green housing of this world and the rest start small and grow big what's the population of uh, snake farmer that have that know that have it in larger capacity what's the uh, population of those that have it in smaller capacity like us and yet i'm making my money that's why the fact that i'm you know, using uh, backyard uh, farming system, I'm using trenches, you know, not greenhouse. And I always say it, I'm not uh, condemning greenhouse, but I know greenhouse is meant for big people. The VIPs, the rich ones. Because I would like to spend 5 million, 2 million, 10 million to build a greenhouse alone. Then, what will I use to now buy stock? Let me start small. Let me build a pen. Or fifty thousand, forty thousand, hundred thousand for like two, three, <clears throat> and then I stock. And you tell me if I not make money, if well managed. So uh, I'm thanking you guys. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for your quest for knowledge, and I believe we can grow together because I'm still growing. I'm not an island of knowledge. I'm willing to learn from everyone, you know. I'm willing to learn from you. I'm willing to learn from anybody. As much as I'm a trainer too, as much as I'm, some people are learning from me, I'm equally learning from others. So thank you very much. You can see that's fresh. And then I didn't take catfish, but I took snail, you know. So it means that this snail can be smoked can be grilled, it can be peppered. Same thing to our catfish, same thing to, to our chicken, same thing to our duck, our goats. Okay, so that's why you are seeing all this column. Are you buying fresh products from us? Yes. Is it catfish you are buying? Is it snail? It is snail, so I take snail. Is it chicken? If it is fresh chicken, yes. If it is duck, if it is goat. Are you buying this smoke? Is it catfish smoke? Is it snake smoke? Is it, you know? So I want to thank you guys. Bye for now from the stable of November's farm and Shubai Mudu personnel. Uh, just as I promised earlier, uh, by this weekend I'll be dropping uh, one or two videos uh, where we share something new that will interest you and then that will educate you. Let's keep making profits and let's keep eating healthy. Let's keep living good life and let's be our brother's keeper and let's contribute our quotas in eradicating hunger from Nigeria. Let's help in building food sustenance in this country while we dream of exporting, generating uh, foreign, uh, foreign exchange, which we call Forex. Thank you all. Bye for now.